We've got some images of, of Bas's work. If you'd like to introduce yourself and what you've done and use the images as a backdrop for your explanation. It's, it's, it's an image which I rarely use, and I, but I would like to use it to introduce what I do. It's a, it's a, it's a one-family house uh, being destroyed in the city of Xiamen in, in China. And um, uh, always when I have a new image, I send it to, to some friends. And um, then I got immediately a reaction back. Can, can we have the second slide? Um, which is a tarot card. Uh, and I was really surprised. I was like, wow, what, what is this? And then I uh, quickly searched for, the, for what, the, what the meaning was. And the meaning of this uh, tarot card was that, or one, you could say, when, when the tower is struck, that one's understanding of the reality will be altered or enter another di dimension. And somehow I understood that the images that I make do something similar. They, they try to uh, uh, make you understand the reality in another way or in a way that you uh, can see something new. And in every image that I, that I make, there is a quite a specific idea of space, and it's uh, always related to the, to the notion of a contemporary landscape and showing the relation of the man-made and the natural, uh, but in such a way that it's a given condition, so it's not anymore the one versus the other, but they are, they are basically one. And the work, you could say, is made in a, in a pretty uh, simple way. I find the places and I exclude as much as possible the existing context because I want it to be about this one type of idea of space. And um, uh, things can go very uh, uh, simple. The way I make it is like you, you have, for instance, this image. Then um, we can go to the next one. And this, uh, this to me was a kind of a... In, in invention of the idea of super studio, which they made in, this, in the 60s called uh, uh, a continuous monument. And this is somehow a kind of realized piece of it while they never actually build it. And somehow I find that, that interesting, that you can find small elements that are part of reality, but that are also part of the history of architecture or design, and you can create them. We, we can, and then in in a, in a way, I take that one image and then immediately after I make the inversion. So the last one was the inversion. And this is again then the landscape as a room and the room as a landscape. So it's always that one, <laughs> that one image leads very simply to the other by basically doubling it or by mirroring it um, or by inversing it. Uh, and you could say that in the end, uh, it is always the reality plus or minus something else. And I think this is a kind of essence of making things. And we are there. Are you like a historical photographer or a futuristic photographer? I, I think it's uh, for me futuristic, but I think for the future generation it will be more historic. <laughs> <laughs> That's like uh, <laughs> very... Uh, <laughs>